What's up everyone? So last week I passed the one year mark at my current job. So I figured this would be a perfect time to revisit life as an IT support specialist one year later. Welcome back everyone and thank you for tuning in to IT Career Skills where we give you advice and insight on how to grow your career in the IT field. So just about a year ago I did a video very similar to this where I was talking about my day to day job responsibilities and what my life was like as an IT support specialist. If you want to check out that video you go ahead and check it out here or I'll put a link to it in the description below. But anyways like I said in the intro last week I actually passed the one year mark at my job and man has my life changed. I've taken on way more responsibilities than I ever thought and I've also got a couple of raises as well. So I figured this would be a perfect time to kind of revisit what my life is like as an IT support specialist. So I said this in my last video, I'm gonna say it again. I work in the hospitality industry and I work with a small IT department. So my job responsibilities might differ from someone else with the exact same job title in a different industry. But this is what I do for a living. So kind of giving you a little recap, when I started in the IT field, I had no prior experience, no IT certifications, and no formal job history. I had nothing, nothing going for me. But I still managed to land a $50,000 a year job in the IT field doing what I love. That just goes to show you really just got to go out there. If this is the job field you want to be in, if this is what you want to do for a living, just go out there and put yourself out there. Now, does it help having certifications? Absolutely. Does it help having prior work experience? Absolutely. But it is not whatsoever required. So I know one thing that really helped me though when I was applying is I had great soft skills. I could communicate well with others, I was able to listen to the problems they were having, and then I was able to walk them through the steps in a way they understood on how they could fix the problems. So when I first started out, I was doing some basic help desk tasks like answering emails, answering simple help desk tickets, creating user accounts, kind of the basic stuff you would expect from a help desk position, your basic entry level position. But every chance I got, I always tried to take on more responsibilities. I always tried to take on more skills. I always tried to show my self-worth. And you know what, it paid off. My supervisor quickly realized I had more skills to offer than he originally realized. And you know what, it paid off. Some of my core responsibilities now are maintaining the network for at all of our locations. Hardware integration, server management, remote software deployment, and one of my favorite, designing new network infrastructure. So let's kind of dive into each one of those. Maintaining the network company-wide. So we have about 18 different locations all along the west coast from Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and California. So hardware integrations. Every piece of new hardware comes across my desk, whether it's computers, printers, credit card readers, you name it. Every device needs to be prepped and configured before it's deployed into the field. And that is one of my main responsibilities. And with that, one of the things I'm tying in is WDS, Windows Deployment Services. And that leads us into my server management role. I have taken on management of our servers and virtual environment. So one of the big projects I'm working on is building out our WDS server, Windows Deployment Server. So we can image our own computer and cut down the time it takes to either repair or configure new systems. I also help and maintain our WSUS server, our Windows Server Update Services, and our DNS, DACP, print servers, Active Directory, you name it. And speaking of Active Directory, one thing I'll say is when I first entered the field, I was deathly terrified of Active Directory. I had no experience whatsoever. I hadn't even seen what it looked like. Yeah, when I got the job, I knew I was gonna be working with Active Directory. I tried to do as much research as I could, but it scared me because I just didn't know what to expect. But I started getting in there and working with it, and I'm very much a self-taught person. And once I realized you know, what it could do and how powerful of a tool it was, I actually came to love it. And I know I've only cracked the tip of the iceberg on it, but it is such a cool tool to use and it's so useful. So let's talk about remote software deployment and management. This is kind of one of those job responsibilities I kind of fell into. We have this program that 
they would release updates and we would have to push it out to the compu all the computers in the company. We have about 240 computers that use this program at this point, I think. And it was my responsibility to figure out a way to remotely deploy that piece of software to every single computer. So one of the previous guys had found a tool and I kind of played around with it and kind of looked at what else was out there. And I finally decided to go with PDQ. Uh, it's a really great software. You can There's also a PDQ inventory where you can inventory the software that's on all the computers. But it's my responsibility to ensure all the software on all the PCs in the company are kept up to date and have the latest versions of whatever software installed on it. Whether it's Chrome, whether it's our PMS system, whether it's our antivirus. That is all my responsibility. And speaking of antivirus, one of my final core job responsibilities is security. So whether it's client security, desktop security, or it is you know, network security, managing our firewall infrastructures and our different types of firewalls we have deployed throughout the field. It is one of my responsibilities along with my IT manager to ensure all those infrastructures are protected and secured. As I'm sure all of you know, security is huge in the IT field right now, and there's just not enough people out there to fulfill all the needs. And when you work in a small department like I do, we're it. I mean, we all have to try to help teach and promote security. We have to help our end users learn safe practices. Yes, we have a global picture of our security. We have a global picture of how our infrastructure is doing. But it's up to our end users to identify and alert us when there's something just doesn't feel right. So that's it for today guys. But you know, I'd like to hear from you guys. If you're already in the field, what's your favorite part of the job? Or if you're looking to get into the field, what are you looking forward to the most? Are you looking forward to helping people solve issues? Or are you kind of like me and you like to get your hands dirty with the nitty gritty stuff? Let me know in the comments below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you aren't already, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you receive notifications as we release new videos. I know I haven't put out a lot of videos lately, and I've just had a ton of stuff going on in my personal life and work, and I apologize. But I have a lot more videos I plan on coming out here soon. I've actually just wrote content for our A plus and CCNA study groups, so look for those coming up here soon. If you guys have any suggestions about anything you'd like to see different on these videos, make sure and let me know in the comments below. I make these videos for you guys. I enjoy helping people grow their career in the IT field. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, take it easy.